and mouthing off to a constable in a city packed full of constables? Not a good idea, Autumn. I know, I know, I, I don't know what it is about this place. It just makes me want to bite someone's head off. Seriously. Well, chill, okay? Don't go all woo on me. I need you. You mean it? Kinda. If I hear one more story about a purse, I will become Jacques' assistant. Well, before you go off the deep end, let's just get this done, okay? <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> excuse me, you Marcel? Sir, excuse me, you're Marcel, right? Sir! Wait, Zach, hold on, I got this. <clears throat> if you don't answer me, I will hurt you and everyone you love! Autumn. I'm sorry. My friend is a little on edge right now. We've been running around all day listening to poodles yapping on and on about their scarves and whatnot. Now, you look like a nice gentleman. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and assume you didn't hear me before. But I really need to know if you're Marcel. And if so, we need to know any information you may have on Jacques the Scratcher. Alright. Fair enough. I guess we should just go, Autumn. I'll hurt you and everyone you love if you don't- Zack, come on. This isn't working. We haven't gotten any useful information all day. Let's just talk to Mr. Bones and then call it a night, okay? Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. I'll be watching you. So, you're on the Scratcher case, are you? Yeah, but we haven't had very much luck so far. We've gotten hardly any useful information, and what we do get is followed by monologues about fashion and the ball that's coming up. Like, who cares about a policeman's ball? I'm boycotting it just for the heck of it. Wanna join in? I'm all up for that. Well, sounds like the two of you could use a bit of unwinding. Why not have a couple bubbly lifting drinks, and then we can sort out the facts. Sweet. Sweet. And that's the only real lead we have so far, is the glove that was found on the ground. <laughs> found rhymes with ground. Well, it's actually a rather good lead, in spite of how insignificant it seems. Anyway, the lady we talked to said you had the glove. Insignificant is a long word. Indeed I do. Can you pretty please look at it? Ah, yes of course. Wow. Wow, wow. Interesting, isn't it? Are those? Yes, they are. But I thought those were... And indeed they are. But they're not impossible to get. So this person would have to be rich, yes. We're not lacking in aristocrats, as you could probably tell by your previous encounters today. However, there are very few people who could actually obtain something as rare as this. And what do you think those X's stand for? No idea. Though all the boys in blue believe it indicates that the Scratcher is a doctor of some sort. Really? How many doctors are there in Marleybone? Just one, actually. Well, that narrows it down. Would you happen to know where this doctor lives? Somewhere in Night's Court. Why hasn't anyone found him yet if you know where he could be? Oh, lots of reasons. Mostly everyone's just far too afraid of getting their faces scratched off. It would be rather inconvenient what with the policeman's ball coming up. Wow, that's pretty pathetic. I mean, isn't the police officer's motto to serve and protect? Actually, here in Marleybone, our police motto is... Autumn, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably. Good enough, let's go. Are you sure this is the place? It's the one place in Knight's Court that we haven't gone yet. Also, there's a big sign on it saying, Jacques' Hideout. Wow, wonder how that got past everyone. You ready to do this? Is the sky green? No. Dang it! I knew I was colorblind! Is this the place? I think so. Ah, uh, visitors! <gasps> Stay back! I have a twig and I'm not afraid to use it! Oh, wild hostility, mon frere! You like messed up a bunch of people's faces. Pretty badly, if I'm not mistaken. Qu'est-ce que c'est? I have no idea what you are talking about, tiny people. Oh, really? What does this ring a bell? 
Sacre bleu! My glove! Aha! So you are the scratcher. Scratcher? I have no idea what you mean. What's, what is this scratcher? Don't play dumb with us. We know you're the one going around and scratching people's faces up. We've got evidence. Scratch? On the face? Never! Come on, we've already caught you red clawed. Stop acting like you don't know what we're talking about. No, 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 honestly, I swear on my beret that I would never do such a thing that you are saying I did. How do we know that? Well, just ask any lady on this street and they will deny it. After all, I am the most popular makeup artist on this street. Makeup? Artist? We? Oui, I do a wide array of face decor. From stage makeup, fancy ball makeup, entertainment makeup, even face paintings. Although, that's mostly for the little kids' parties. I could do your faces if you'd like. I must say, you do need it. You both look very tired and angry. Wait, so if you're a makeup artist, why do you have gloves with nails made out of scrap metal attached? Well, I do happen to get fleas a lot. When I itch, I scratch. But because of my job, I need short claws, so I use those gloves to help me scratch. Ah, that makes sense now. That's why they call you Jean the Scratcher. Mais oui. But then, who's been going around attacking all the ladies on the street? Alas, no clue, mes amis. I am inside most of the day, creating my art on the palette of others' faces. To destroy the palettes would be to destroy myself. I am sorry to be of no help. Wait, you're colorblind? I can't believe it. Face makeup. I can't believe we wasted all this time here, driving ourselves practically out of our minds, and for what? A wild goose chase that ended up nowhere. Face makeup. And I don't get it. How could we have done so much and yet it all amounted to so little? Face makeup. The worst part about all this is, I thought the assignment was just going to be delivering invitations, and we didn't even do that at all. Maybe you're right, Zack. Maybe Miss Wu is crazy. Don't you get it? Face makeup. Forget it, Zack. Look, we did our best. I think it's time we just cut our losses and head home. This time we can just tell Miss Wu we're not ready for the next spell. Come on, let's go home. Face makeup. Hello, young wizards. I don't have much time, so I'll cut this short. I accidentally ate some poison mushrooms, which were actually meant for the Emperor, and now the Yakuza are after me, and they say I can either pay them a lot of money and that I don't have, or they'll kill me, which I really don't like the sound of either, so long story short, I have to flee Wizard City. Autumn, you're in charge. If anyone asks them, not Mushu. Bye! I hate life. <laughs> Where on earth did you get a ninja pig? Gift card? How did you get one of those? Unlike you, I have fans. I have fans?